Oh, yeah, it's Mr. R. Oh, that's too black. Oh, yeah. All right, so today we are doing Ordeal. Because I had the creator himself like a video and post the fire emoji. Yeah. yeah. Clap it up, Webtoons family. This is what I do it for. I do it for y'all love and the creator's love. It's a, it's a beautiful, joyous thing. You know what I'm saying? It's cool seeing people fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So even if you don't see people around you fuck with you, just know people out there are fucking with you. You know, I don't know who this is going to hit, who watches this, but listen, listen. Sometimes you got to go out and get the love that's destined for you. Hey, don't listen to me, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh... That shit was dope, though. But not as dope as one of the best things about my videos, that motherfucking intro. Welcome back to Prince JM2, a.k.a. Prince I Came to Dream. If you came back to one of my videos or streams, you must be a fiend. Now listen. <laughs> Let's get into it. Bro Cash. Master, you know this fool. No one is allowed in the dojo during training session. He clearly couldn't read the sign. Illiterate, maybe. You are not welcome here, Rokash. Ooh, that boy's like, hey, we on that. <laughs> That's no way to greet your favorite past student teacher. Teacher? He said, get up, you deaf. Students, <laughs> shut up. What'd you say, boy? <laughs> you boys got some spark. <laughs> How about some sparring? <laughs> you still have not changed. Ooh. Oh. Enough of this. This is no longer your home, bro, Cash. I will not repeat myself. You will leave at once. Cha. <laughs> 25 years since I've stepped foot in this old place. You speak as though you are not the pinnacle of chemo power Leo Thomas. Yet, you have no idea what true strength is. <laughs> you will acknowledge my strength before you die, old man. <laughs> Ooh, that boy got that pimp juice. Yeah. And that might come sooner than you think. Ooh, they get lit. Later that same evening.
Thank you. You all right, master? Who the hell does he think he is threatening you like that? What happened between you and Rokash? Uh, he was an old student of mine many years ago. His arrogance kept him from every truly progressive. But the scary truth is, he was one of my strongest. Hmm. Oh, shit. It might get wicked. The dojo was small back then. Poor guys were all we had. Rokash was so adamant on proving his strength, he constantly challenged the others. You see, besides his vanity, Rokash's problem was that he never understood the seriousness that goes with a fight. The animalistic side of his talent would emerge and he began jesting and grinning. One day, behind my back, he challenged a young man named Jacob, one of the better chemos in the class. That fight was a mistake from the get-go. I don't know what he was trying to prove, but he killed Jacob. Damn. Jacob, you look light-skinned. There was a big investigation and all that he left the dojo after. He was cleared unintentionally homicide. They called it. He hasn't been back since. Wow, you got away with it? St Stoops, I'd kick his ass if he ever comes here again. Look at my little human boy making threats. <laughs> Whatever, old man. Your students got your back this time. Of that, I'm certain. Go home now. I'll finish up the cleaning today. I knew you have your usual chores to attend to. Oh, I feel something bad coming in, y'all. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Hart. Glad to see you still in one piece, mostly. Hey, Doc. How you been? Work has gotten a little hectic these days. You know, the average bar fight, but with chemos. <laughs> God has been really good to me, regardless. So no complaints here. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Julian is having her sixth child. Can you believe it? Wow, your daughter is a superhero even? Most definitely. Now back to you, young man. Let's see here. The usual. I got you topped up on all your prescriptions. I also added a new drug called Hamoxicillin. This bad boy should help you with internal bleeding. One a day as pure usual. Damn. Any improvement in that left eye? Still a bit dim, Doc. I would say I can only see at 60% capacity. Damn, my boy going blind? Jay. As a doctor and a father, please consider my advice. I can do my best to ensure you are topped up on all your required medication, but I cannot make you stop what you do on your own time. Your body is tougher than the average human, yes. I'm assuming that would be thanks to Leo Thomas training, but you're still lucky to be alive. You 
You can't hide this from your friends, your family forever. The pain and discomfort will reveal itself, whether willingly or not. Your lab results are still the same. A punctured lung, which has still not been given the time to repair itself, fractures to both clavicles and a bruised shoulder socket. Severe tissue and muscle scarring, nerve damage to the right hand, damage to the left optic nerves, a chipped rib, and seven ankle screws, and the internal bleeding still has not subsided. Shay, is the Fight Club money really worth it? Your body is at a breaking point, young man. Keep pushing it way too far. Your whole life is before you. I am worried that you are shaving off more and more of that time daily. <laughs> Dr. Evan, I really do appreciate your concern for me, but I still got some fire left in me. Besides the money, it's gone to a very good cause. You said it yourself. I'm tough for a human. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Hart. You tell me if you need anything at all. Thanks again, Doc. Thanks again, Dr. Evan. I must say, you look pretty healthy, sir. The wife still got you doing that yoga? Nah, I have chosen a far manlier form of exercise. Take care of yourself, Mr. Hart, and you'll grow old and live as happy as I am. Later that night. You really have not changed. Bro, cash. Oh, shit. The motherfucker about to do something crazy. <laughs> I just feel so off. Leaving Master like that to close the dojo by himself? Bro, Rokash threatened him. Rokash is a rich idiot, but he isn't that stupid to try killing the man who made him who he is, right? Got him up. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll go check on him first thing in the morning. Jay, listen, man, I know Master is like a father to you, but don't stress. He'll be all right, bro. Now, can I please go, or you will encourage the wrath of the beast on my chest? That boy trying to get it in. <laughs> hey, SD. Jay, good night. I'll be taking my man back now. Get that gun! 
You fool! I told you he was mine to finish, but you will not deprive me of this. Uncle, I just thought. Look out, boy! Phoenix Bill! How you raise your nephew? Can you even begin to comprehend responsibility? might see your boy on TV soon. <laughs> but nah, this your live. Um, Joe, can't wait to put this out for y'all on Wednesday. Yes, because we're keeping up the schedule. Y'all saw Monday, had New Music Monday. Wednesday, Friday night, Friday, had it on Friday. You, your boy is staying on schedule, staying on the perks. I'm just playing. But this jump was lit, man. Not even going to lie to y'all. I really love making it. Uh, shout out to the Ordeal Creator, bro. That was dope. Uh, came at the time I needed it. I ain't gonna lie. That's one of the fires things. If you hear from the beginning and you see your boy hit a million, you really, you really winning. You really rocking with me and let me know. Cause honestly, I promise y'all, I'm gonna get it done for us, bro. I'm gonna get it done for us. But, uh, like always, man, don't sleep on your boy like a sedative. Don't miss a come up from zero to a million. Life's only as big as we make it. And we're gonna make that shit amazing. I'm out. Southern Arizona fell in love is dead. Angel brown hair, yeah, cute face, solid graduate. She's a type to make you hesitate. Solid at a party, how you doing? What's your name? Yeah. Said she got chosen, that's a fire to the flame. Yeah. Ask her what she into, she said anime games. Wow.